The video you're about to see reflects several good candidates that did not understand what the Academy experience was like. They all left for various reasons, but the primary reason was they weren't prepared. We'll be there for you. We'll help you. But you have to do your part. What you have to do is get ready. Let's go! Catch you with the cell phone here. You're not gonna like it. I am putting in my resignation. Um, I had doubts prior to going into the academy uh, regarding the job itself, just how dangerous it is. Um, I kind of put those emotions to the side and thought maybe going into the academy would change that. And going in day one just made me realize that um, I just can't accept how dangerous, dangerous it is and that we're targets out there. Uh, I'm only 22 years old, so not a whole lot of life experience and you know I thought I was mentally prepared to be away from family and do this process it just being I, that support level that I had back home the friends and family that supported me throughout this whole process I feel like I didn't have that here because going through a FaceTime or through a phone call is completely different than you know going home at night to your family and and having them support you through this process, especially this process is one of the toughest in, in the country as we know, so. I felt that I was fully prepared, but by the time, after going through it, I wasn't as prepared as I thought I was. And I feel like you can never be fully prepared for this academy. You don't know what's gonna get thrown at you. You can have an idea, but you never really know when it comes to the type of tech officers that you have, um, or even how you're gonna respond to the mental aspect of it, of the constant breaking down. I'd have to say it was just uh, coming to terms with the reality of the job that you're going to be working holidays, you're going to be working weekends, shift work, uh, not to mention New Year's in Las Vegas. Probably won't see one of those again. And this is just coming from the, what the tech officer has told us on day one. So um, I'm coming off of six years of military, uh, working shift work, being away from home for a long time. And uh, the day one was just kind of a slap in the face realization that I kind of don't want this lifestyle anymore. I just want a regular, you know, Monday through Friday kind of job, and this definitely is not that. Why am I doing this? Um, it really made me question the reason why I was here. Um, it made me question my why for why I want to be a police officer, um, and I really had to question whether it was all worth it. Um, if you think that you're going to come to Academy and work your 10 to 12 hours and go home and get a good night's rest, that's not the case. Um, it's going to have a big impact on your family because you are going to have to tell them that you have to skip dinner, or skip birthday parties or um, family events to study so that you can pass all the testing. Uh, I realized I just wasn't committed. I didn't have the desire. I wasn't prepared for the Academy and I mean being 20, 22 years old, uh, I feel like maturity played a part in it, not having enough life experience. So it just kind of set in my head and it's, I wasn't ready for it. Uh, it was definitely painful. Um, again, it just kept hitting in my head after all the things we were doing, um, saying like that doubts were coming into my head and, and I was just more and more realizing that uh, I'm not ready for this. Make sure that you know, you're comfortable with it, you know, really think it through. Um, I advise anyone who makes a you know, decision like that to, to move, to relocate for this job, to make sure that they have a decent amount of money saved uh, because it, it, is, it is a pricey thing to do, to move out here and to pay for all the equipment. That, if you don't have money, a lot of, a lot of it, or you know, at least something to fall back on, it, you know, that's just an added stress to to the academy itself. The academy is very stressful, so I mean, coming here with a clear mind is definitely something that I recommend in all aspects. 
family aspect was rough. I, I'm married, got three kids, and um, this is not a nine to five job. You know, you do your 10 hours, 11 hours here, and then you get home and you do another three, four, five hours of homework. And um, you have to be able to balance that with your family. And that, that's, a, that's, a, that's a trick. It's really hard to do. And your family suffers. So it's, it's good to, um, to brief them as much as possible. And I think that, that brief that they go to is, is, is crucial. So they kind of know what you're getting into and what to expect. Um, if I could give myself advice before entering the academy, I would just say I would, I would run a lot more, watch videos on what to expect exactly, and mentally prepare myself to uh, um, you know, put myself in those positions and, and get my mind right. Know what you're in for, make sure that's, that's something that you really want to do for the rest of your life, and prepare yourself mentally, physically, and emotionally to get through that six months and uh, do the best that you can because that's, a, that's what they expect of you. This video is not to scare you. It's to give you a touch of reality. We can tell you on our social media, we can tell you in person, in seminars, but until you get there sometimes, you don't really take the time to ask yourself, am I ready? Is this for me? Am I dedicated enough? Am I committed? You can't come into this lightly. This is a job that requires a lot of you. It requires your commitment, it requires motivation, it requires a desire to do it. So please make sure that you're prepared, please make sure that you put yourself in a position to be successful.